First case of monkeypox has been identified here in the U.S. Health officials say a man in Massachusetts caught the rare virus after traveling to Canada. And new today, the, how, the U.S. has ordered millions of dollars worth of a vaccine protecting against monkeypox. It's not just the U.S. and our neighbors to the north. Other nations like the U.K., Portugal, Spain, and Italy, also Sweden, also reporting cases, which health officials are calling, quote, rare and unusual. So what is monkeypox? It's a virus similar to smallpox. It's usually contracted from contact with an infected small animal, like a rodent. Most cases come out of West and Central Africa. The virus was first identified back in the 1950s and monkeys being used for research. So joining us now is Dr. Dr. Anthony Harris, CEO and medical director of HFIT Health. Dr. Harris, good to talk to you again. You know, why is this outbreak being called rare and unusual? And should we actually be worried, you know, especially because we're entering year three at this point of COVID? Yeah, thank you, Nicole, first and foremost, for having me on here. And why we should be concerned uh, is because, as you mentioned, it is unusual to see an outbreak of monkeypox. Uh, monkeypox, as you mentioned, similar to smallpox, but uh, not as easily transmitted as a smallpox. And so the fact that we're seeing transmission happen in this population, so far, 68 individuals uh, in, in the locations you mentioned, the UK, um, Spain, Portugal, now in the US, one case in Canada, uh, um, it's concerning because of the means of transmission being different from what we've seen in the past since the 1950s, which traditionally was from rodent to human. This potentially may now uh, represent communication or transmission from human to human, which Are is very you, unusual. Yeah, very unusual, uh, potentially, you know, very scary there. So so we see the pictures, you know, and we see those pox like um, and I guess eruptions on the skin. So what are some of the symptoms, the key symptoms that people should notice right away? You bet. So uh, the early symptom, which is a telltale uh, sign for uh, monkeypox, is what's called lymphadenopathy or swollen lymph nodes. That presents pretty early. Um, and then uh, fever, cough, fatigue all set in. Uh, one of the things that you just mentioned, the blisters form about one to three days after onset of the fever. Uh, and so that combination looks awfully like smallpox. But in this case, obviously, we're talking about um, monkeypox, which um, when we're talking fatality rate or uh, can you die from monkeypox, the answer is yes. And about one to 10 percent is the fatality rate, as we know it uh, for monkeypox, obviously far higher than what we've seen with uh, coronavirus or SARS-CoV-2. So that's another reason why it's concerning. And you know, you talked about the spread a bit there. Is there any evidence so far that the virus is spreading in a different way, maybe making it difficult to detect? So research is still ongoing, right? Uh, actually, WHO uh, published uh, in 2020 a paper on looking at the spread and the increase of monkeypox, uh, particularly in the uh, uh, DR uh, of Congo, right? Uh, and so the Democratic Republic of Congo. And what they saw was a uh, dramatic increase, in some cases, 14-fold increase uh, since the 1980s of monkeypox. And the reason underlying that uh, could be that individuals are not as immune to monkeypox as they once were as a result of smallpox vaccination. That's why we see uh, the ordering of the vaccine. Uh, vaccinia, it's called, uh, to help protect against monkeypox. 85% efficacy is what's been seen against monkeypox uh, with that smallpox vaccination. Yeah, certainly something to keep an eye on. Dr. Anthony Harris, thank you so much. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.